This is teacher Myra, your mathematics seven teacher. Oh, what time is it? It's mathematics time! So today we're going to unlock new learnings in a fun and exciting way. Are you ready? Are you excited? So let's get it on! Oh, hey, Anne! Yes, training us today is your friend, Anne. She is also a grade 7 student. And why don't you introduce yourself to your friends? Hello, teacher Mara. Hello, everyone. Hello, friends. I am Anne. I am also a grade 7 student. I am so excited. Together with you, we're going to learn new things in a fun and exciting way together with Teacher Myra. So let's start now, teacher. Okay, and before we proceed to learning something new in mathematics, let us first exhibit our skills and talent in dancing. So to those who are watching this video, I want you to stand up right now. Come on, stand up, stand up. Oh, I'm seeing someone who is not standing up. Yes, you. Okay, very good, stand up. So today we're going to do the dance, dance, dance. We're going to do the math song dance. And this is in a tune of Are You Sleeping? You will follow me and Anne as we perform the dancing. Are you ready? Let's get started now. Measure of central tendency. This is any measure indicating the center of data set. It is arranged in an increasing or decreasing magnitude. It is a central point around which the values in a distribution assemble. The measures of central tendency we have the mean, the median, and the mode. So to fully understand the basic concept of these measures of central tendency, we need to do the following activity. Okay, I want you to prepare 70 stones or 70 sticks or anything that is available in your home. In this activity, I will be using a band and I have 70 bands. So we are going to group these bands and each group contains different values. So you need to follow me, you need to follow that grouping. First group, we have seven pens. Another group contains 11 pens. Third group contains six pens. Fourth group contains 11 pens. Fifth group contains eight pens. We also have a group that contains 10 pens and the last group it contains 17 pens. So after this, we need to arrange the group in order of the number of pens in each group. So we are going to start with a group containing the least number of pens. 
pens and end with a group containing the greatest number of pens. So we will record the number of pens in each group. So I'll start arranging now. So obviously from the least to greatest, it will start with six pens, seven pens, eight pens, ten pens, eleven pens, eleven pens, and seventeen pens. So start now. We arrange that one from list to greatest. So let us now start counting or knowing what will be our middle number. So let us locate the middle group and record the number of pens. So based from the given arrangement or values, what number or what is our middle group? Okay, 10 is our middle number. That is our median. A median is the middle number in an ordered set. Okay, what have you noticed in our given set of data? Have you noticed a number um, a number which appears most often? Yes, number 11 appears most often and it is called mode. A mode is the number that appears most often in a collection of data. So I am giving back again the set of pens. So there are seven groups of pens, right? We need to regroup the pens so that each of the seven groups contains the same number of pens. So I have 70 pens, am I right? And I have seven groups. What will I do so that each group will contain the same number? Yes, we will divide 70 pens by 7 groups. And that each group should have 10 pens. So that is our mean. The mean is the average of a collection of data. So let us now start with the first measures of the central tendency, which is the mean. The mean is the most commonly used measure of central tendency. So when we speak of average, we always refer to that mean, just like the average of your grades. So we're going to use this formula. Mean is equal to the summation of x over n. So examples, we have six friends in a biology class of 20 students receives test grades of 92, 84, 65, 76, 88 and 90. So you need to find the mean of the test scores. So we're going to use this formula. So summation of x over n, you need to add all the values, all the scores, which is 92, 84, 65, 76, 88, 90, and we will divide it by 6. Why 6? Because the number of value is 6. So 495 is the total of all the scores divided by the number of value, which is 6. So therefore, our mean is 82.5. Okay, let us try to solve this another example. The ages of 5 contestants in a statistic quiz B are the following. 18, 17, 18, 19, and 18. We need to find their average age. So Anne, can you help me solving the average age of this contestant? We are going to use the formula, teacher Myra, which is mean is equal to summation of x divided by n. So we are going to add all the scores, which is 18 plus 17 plus 18 plus 19 plus 18, divided by the number of values, which is 5. Because we have 5 scores, 19 divided by 5, our mean or the average age is equals to 18. Yes, our median is 
the midpoint of the data array. So before finding this value, the data must be arranged in order. So it must be in greatest to least or least to greatest. So the median will either be a specific value or will fall between two values. So look at this example. So we have median is equal to x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3, x sub 4, and x sub 5. It is not difficult for us to find for the median because we could easily locate the midpoint or the middle value, which is the x sub 3. That is the middle number of the data or the values. But how about we have this number? Yes, we have even numbers or we have even values or we have even data. How are we going to find for the median? Do you have any idea? Yes, we are going to add the two middle values, the x sub 3 and the x sub 4, then we will divide it by two. Very good. Let's try to look at this example. Seven mothers were selected and given a blood pressure check. Their blood pressure were recorded below. 135, 131, 119, 116, 130, 121, and 131. What is the first first step? We need to find their median. First, we need to arrange that data in order from least to greatest. So we have it here. Yes. What is our middle number? What is our middle number? Or what is the midpoint? Yes, our midpoint is. What is our midpoint? It's 121. We easily find the value of our median because we have an odd data. We have another example in getting the median for ungrouped data. So I have here uh, eight nodules were randomly selected and the numbers of pages were recorded as follows. 415, 398, 402, 400, 420, 415, 407, and 425. You need to arrange the one uh, from least to greatest in getting the median. So you need to arrange that one in order. Find the middle value or the mid point. So if you notice, to our data here is an even number. So it appears that we have two center number. So all we have to do is to add those mid point and divided it by two. So what is our middle or our midpoint number? In this example, we have 407 and 415. Very good. So you need to add those two and divide it by two. So our median is 411. Okay, very good and that was amazing. Did you get the correct answer also just like and? Wow, very good. So let's now proceed now to our third measure which is the mode. So yes, plus that is the mode. Our mode is the value that occurs most often in the data set. The number, the value, or the observation in a data set which appears the most number of times. So repeated, repeatedly given. So example, find the mode of the given data set. 15, 28, 25, 48, 22, 43, 39, 44, 43, 49, 34, 22, 33, 27, 25, 22, and 30. So we are going arrange the data set in ascending or descending order. So, chiran! So, we arrange this one from least to 
greatest. So try to observe which number or data appears most often. The most repeated data in this given values. Yes, we have number 22. So number 22 is our winner. It appears most often. So in the given data, the number that appeared the most number of times is 22. The data set is to be unimodal. Unimodal because there is only one number, number 22. Let's try to look at this another example. The speed of a 10, 10 stenographers in typing per minute are as follows. 121, 110, 120, 119, 112, 121, 118, 115, 107, and 115. Arrange it by list to greatest. Try to look at which number appears most often or the repeated number. What number is that? Yes, we have 115 and 121. They are tied. Thus, the data set has two modes, 115 and 125. The data set is said to be bimodal since we have two numbers that repeatedly appear. It appears twice. The 115, 115, 121, 120. One. And now, let's have another example. Find the mode of the given data set. Do we have a repeated number? No, right? So therefore, there is no mode. Okay, very good. This is it for today. I hope you have learned something. Did you learn something? Wow! That sounds so great. So again, this is Teacher Myra saying, be a good son, be a good daughter, be a good citizen. Wishing you all a beautiful day and God bless us all. Stay safe everyone!